Greetings tech enthusiasts. Today we are embarking on a journey of captivating history of coding languages. But this isn't a lecture. It's a story told by you. Yes, the passionate audience of Gobi channel. So buckle up as we will weave your story and a rich tapestry of coding languages history. Hit that subscribe button and join us in this video. Our journey begins with mesmerizing era of punch cards and room-sized computers. Picture this, it's 1950s when the digital realm was in its infancy. We asked the public which was the first ever programming language invented and who is the person behind this language. See what they have to say and come back, let's dive into the answers. C. 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 Ah, uh, no. Spot on. Who is actually credited for inventing the first ever programming language? No idea. No idea. No, no. I think it's John something like that. Jack. In the 1950s digital landscape, a hero emerges. Photon. Found from the brilliant minds of IBM. Meet John Backus, the wizard behind Photon. His pioneering work revolutionized human-computer interaction, laying the bedrock for diverse languages that followed. Fast forward to a time where computers became more powerful and the need for efficient communication with them grew. The evolution of programming languages became a necessity. The early languages weren't just a tool, but they were architects of new languages that spoke to machines and the minds of programmers. As the landscape of digital realm grew, C language entered the game changer that influenced C++, Objective-C and the mighty Unix operating system. It marked the turning point, an era where codes were not just a set of instructions, but a language of efficiency and portability. It is where the stage expands and Java takes the programming language by Strom with its right ones run anywhere philosophy. Now, fast forward to present, scripting languages like Python and Ruby has emerged into versatile tools. We have also asked the public about their prominence and use. Take a look at what they have to say and let's dive in to the actual uses of these programming languages. I don't know about Ruby, but Python is mainly used in non data web scraping, like machine learning, for data science, like that. They have more libraries, so that's why, uh, and less uh, coding. Okay. Automation purposes, uh, uh, for, for developing applications, and uh, and uh, game development, everything. Okay. Uh, development in specific domains. And mainly for AI, it is very useful nowadays. As many people mentioned, they are not just lines of code. These languages are storytellers in web development, data science and automation. As the digital landscape evolves, these languages are becoming the voice of a new digital revolution. Now let's dive into what people think about DLS and come back to explore more. Technically, there will be so much of explanations. In short, I think so. They will be domain friendly, I think so. I'm not sure about how about DLS? Imagine a world where codes are tailor-made for specific tasks and industries, enhancing productivity and clarity in finance, telecommunication and scientific computing. Each field will have its own unique dialect and its own unique story. The story does not end there. New players enter the stage. Languages like Swift and Rust have entered the market. We did ask the public what will be the impact and uses of these languages like Swift or Rust in the software development. Let's take a look at what they have to say. It will be more helpful to reduce the time taken to finish that or make it more easier. It's like a new framework, I think, I think so. It will make existing thing easy. Better object-oriented programming language it may be. Maybe user-friendly to develop or something we can make it easier, codeless. Well, a few got it right. The actual impact is Rust focuses on performance and safety, whereas Swift focuses on Apple's language designed for iOS development. These languages represent industry's constant pursuit for efficiency, safety and adoptability. It is up to you now to answer these questions as we surf through this video. What is the coding language you think will set the next pace? And also mention the next topic for the tech history you would like to explore. 
hit that subscribe button like and share this video